everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm excited to show you some things. Me and my mom have decided during the new year, we did this at the end of last year, but there was some times we took off just because of like things getting in the way. But we try to do a weekly challenge. We have so much paper, so much stash, and we're really trying to work through that stash. So um, this week to start off the new year, we decided to do something easier. So we decided to take a six by six paper pad and we wanted to use up the entire thing. So this is the paper pad that I chose. Um, I did incorporate some other papers from my stash, like you'll see this, those two specifically were not in this paper pad, but I tried to find something that coordinated. And the goal was just to use up the entire paper pack. And as you can see, I did that um, minus, I did have, this is from a different paper, so I'm not even gonna count that one. I have these two scraps left. Yep, those two scraps left. Um, and I think, let me see, what else do I have left? Um, I had this from the paper collection, this from the paper collection. And let's see, was there any more pieces? Okay, that one, this one, and this one. So I had those things, those, that's all that I had left from the six by six paper pad after making these projects up above. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I've made. And let's put these to the side. These, I can either just throw them in my stash, like these I can use in other projects, obviously. Little, you can always use these in other things. Um, and then these little tiny pieces of scraps, I can just throw it in my paper scrap pile and use them eventually for something else. Now, let me show you first, um, the first thing I made. So this is the first thing that I decided to make because it, I knew it was gonna take the most paper. Um, I had to cut down my sheets to four by six to make this little mini album journal. I think I'm gonna call it a journal album because uh, you have pa places for pictures, but then you could also, you know, obviously write in a lot of spots too. Um, just depends on how you wanna use it. So um, everywhere you see like a piece of ephemera, you can definitely tuck a photo behind it. Uh, obviously you can journal on that too if you don't wanna use it for photos. And then up here, is this little thing is glued on the side and then also you can stick something under there and then under there as well and then you can stick a photo behind that you have a little pocket right here and i just included some um, these did not come from that paper collection in fact i think these are photo play but i thought it kind of coordinated well and this can go right there you have a little side belly band pocket thing right here also with a little tag. And then right here is another little pocket. And then I made just like a little journaling spot. And then this little thing also folds up. Let me turn the page. I got the inspiration from this, from this um, lady here on YouTube. And I honestly, I cannot remember what her name is, but if I can find that again, I will try to link it in the description box below. She did have a tutorial on how to make this and I pretty much followed her like page designs minus on this one, like she didn't put a pocket on that thing, but I thought it was a perfect spot for one, so I put one. Okay, and then I really liked this page. Um, these are just little photo mats, but like these come out completely. And then um, right here, of course, you can put a photo behind that because I did not glue that down all the way. Okay. And then this page, I did tuck. I was going to make more of these, but I ended up only having enough to do one and I didn't want to, you know, have them all mismatched. So I did just, I just included that with this, but that can tuck back in there. And then you can tuck a foot behind that. Okay, and this is the final page. And of course that can come out. This was just another little, um, just a little journaling thing, but you can use it for whatever you want. Okay, sorry, my two year old is here with me and in order for her to be quiet, I told her she could have some M&Ms, but she has to keep being quiet. So hopefully she will continue to do that. All right, anyways. The next thing I made, I needed to restock these in my, um, I needed to restock these in my Etsy shop. I've had a few people ask me about these. Um, I had completely sold out of the ones that I had. 
So anyways, I'm going, I was like, okay, I'm doing a six by six challenge. This is like the perfect project for that because these measure two and a half by three inches. I take a three by five card and I cut them in half. Um, I had mentioned before, whenever I did a video of these, I like to keep one of these in my purse because I'm constantly needing like paper to write down a phone number or to write down a reminder or something. And these are perfect for that. So let's show you this one. This is the first one that I did. This one does have a little tag on the inside cover. I'm not gonna pull it out all the way. And then um, I'll just show you what the dividers look like. There's that one, just keep swimming. And since this had such teeny tiny cut aparts, I felt like this kind of project was perfect for that because those are so itty bitty and it's a good way to use those up. All right, this one I think is my favorite one. I really love the gold on this. The other one was more like, kind of had like a vintage feel just because I inked around the edges, but this one I did not do that. I just kind of left it as is. There's a little jellyfish sealed with a kiss. I thought that was really cute. And then just like a little picture. Wait, that's a cow. All right. And then this one has um, a little seahorse on the front. Once again, I said this paper on the cover is not from the collection. Um, and then this little seahorse is something you can pick up at Dollar Tree. But the inside is definitely, this paper is from that collection. There we go. And free hugs. And that's what the back cover looks like. Okay, so those that's those three things. Now this was the last thing I decided to make with all my little bits of scraps. Um, I wanted to, I like to make these like I guess they call them Franken paper, but these collage pieces, I like to do these for journaling spots and junk journals. And also if I do like, um, if I want to incorporate a free gift for someone who places an order, I like to put something like this in there. So let me zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see it better. So these are all pretty much, this one's a three by four because I didn't have a whole lot of paper left. So there's that one. This is the only one that has lined paper on the back. The three, I tried to keep that side on the inside, but I forgot with that one. Wow. So anyways, that is uh, my ideas for how to use up an entire six by six paper project, uh, paper pad. I hope that gives you inspiration. Um, next week, we're gonna use a 12 by 12 paper pack. So I'm excited to get started on those projects. But anyways, I hope you found inspiration with this. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will if you wanna see more content like this. All right, you guys have a wonderful day, bye.